Greetings, dear friends. I present your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Volvo 850. The McPherson strut front suspension is strong and has no weak points. With original details, it served its 60-100,000 km even on dead roads. The ball joint is replaceable here, the silent locks are separate and are quite moderate. On sale there are sets of silent locks for levers, 3000 rubles per side for the original and 5 times cheaper for the non-original. Before 94 and after, the levers are different, but there is no difference in resource. Many people do not like the cracks in the subframe brackets to which the levers are attached and they change the subframe to a reinforced one from the off-road version of the S70X set with a Google arm mount. There is a lot of work in this case, but the benefits are not obvious. It's easier to anti-core and weld the original part, it is not at all hopeless. The rear suspension is original here. Composite diagonal torsion arms compactly packed in a single block will make the suspension professionals cringe. Of course, this is simpler than the multi-link on the Volvo 960, but nonetheless, there may be problems with keeping it in a good working order. The levers are already available only for this assembly, and supports and silent locks cannot be found outright, only to order and is expensive. The rack and pump are a lot of hassle, not because everything is done poorly, but simply the resource of these components roughly corresponds to the average mileage of these cars of 40-60,000 km. The rails themselves are completely standard, several suppliers and interchangeable. It's believed that the ZF is slightly better than the Korean, but this is not certain. And when buying, it remains only to carefully inspect the mechanism for leaks, listen to the pump after warming up and check the level and content of dust in the power steering fluid. Almost all cars are front-wheel drive, all-wheel drive is a rarity. The shores resource is more than 350,000 and now most of the cars are op operated by contract or simply not very original parts with a resource, this is several times smaller. And breakdowns do happen especially in cars with turbo engines. Mechanical boxes of the M56 and M58 series are very reliable. The trouble with the collapsing synchronizer, which was present in the early versions, manifests itself with runs up to 50-60,000 km and with average runs of 400 plus at the moment. The set of troubles is completely different. Even when changing the oil, the oil seals, bearings, engagement clutches and the selection mechanism were out on time, the rocker loses out. The condition of the clutches can be checked by alternating loads. By braking and accelerating the engine in the second fifth gears, they should not fly out. Of course, there shouldn't be a holy. The gear shift mechanism is likely to be very loose unless it has recently been fiddled with. In case of various problems, the boxes of this series from newer cars are perfect, although they will not bolt on. At least the speedometer drive and supports are different there, so you will have to open, change and drill cut. The automatic transmission, oddly enough, can still be found alive. The Isin AW5042LE and the weaker AW5040 are difficult to break with a quiet Volvo driver driving. True, there are powerful motors and nervous owners, but in most cases the safety margin of a Japanese box is enough for 400 plus thousand mileage with minimal maintenance. Offer the reason for the stop is not even the panel bearer of everything, but a clogged oil filter. It is inside the box and doesn't change without disassembly. Of course, where on the oil seals, pump and rear caliper seal also occurs. The planetary gear and even the valve body were out, but their emergence of safety when operating with pure oil and with an atmospheric engine is more than 400. Replacing the most worn oil clutches of the drive, reverse package, replacing pistons, parts of the seals and replacing the brake band usually give the unit a second use. The main thing is to service the box at least sometimes and do not overheat. Pour in two-thirds dextron oils and do not indulge in new synthetics unnecessarily. If you are actively driving, change the torque converter lockup lining in time. It wears out here mainly when driving at high speed along the highway or driving along mountains or when dragging a trailer. Fast acceleration puts a little stress on it in third gear, but by and large the box is exceptionally foolish and very stable. Unless the versions with a turbo engine in tuning can simply roll it up and burn it. The torque limit of the box is 320 nanometers and the motors can be inflated up to 450. Based on the experience of operating the same design on the XC70, it's advisable to check the presence of oil in the vicious coupling, the condition of the cardan and the backlash of the bevel gear. They often do not change the oil and finish it off. In real life, you are unlikely to find an all-wheel drive 850, but if you find one, 
then the condition of the drivetrain will clearly be a minor issue. But if you do come across an 850 Ford WD and it comes to repair, then there is good news. Parts from the first generation pre-styled S70, S60 and S780 will fit here. The main trouble of all motors is the age and aging of the wiring, sensors, general wear and the tear of everything and of course poor quality repairs. Considering that these engines by the standards of the 90s have a very progressive and complex design, they are not cheaper to maintain than motors that are 10 to 15 years newer. The price of cars plays a cruel joke with them, as a result they often squeeze the last juices out of them. Fortunately the resource of the piston group is very good. It almost always lives up to 400,000, but there are options with runs up to a million, not only in simple atmospheric 10 valves versions. In fact, only 5 cylinder engines of the Volvo modular engine series can be found on the 850. They are united by a unified aluminum block with a cast iron sleeves, a cylinder head design, a crankshaft design, attachments, and a timing mechanism. Within the line, they differ in working volume and not only due to the re replacement of the crankshaft. The diameter of the piston also differs. The cylinder head comes with 4 and 2 valves per cylinder and the timing belt with phase regulators and without them. The crankshafts differ in the diameter of the cranks and the crankshafts of the turbo engines also differ in the manufacturing technology and flanges. Of course, motors can have different intake control system and many other smaller differences, but all motors of this line are distinguished by a huge margin of safety and resource and demanding quality of maintenance. So the most important joint of the engine are made on sealant. The crankcase joint is loaded with oil pressure. All supply channels pass through it and a very high quality seal is needed. And the cylinder head cover is at the same time the upper part of the camshaft bed. All this requires special qualifications of craftsmen and high quality consumables, sealant, bolts, gaskets and others. Taking into account the fact that the average Russian car mechanic from the 2000s had experience mainly with VAS engines of rear and four-wheel drive families, the reputation of complex and fragile was fixed behind Volvo engines. Now, when even on state employees, the motors are almost more complicated and there are enough good specialized service stations for Volvo maintenance on the market, now the problem has become aggravated. The average Volvo modular is a hand-built engine that has gone through many attachment repairs and often one or two overhauls. The main thing to do is just to try to understand what awaits you. How? By the quality of the fasteners, their uniformity, the presence of all elements by the sealant, it can be seen at the joint, and of course by the operation of the motor. Ideally, it would be a good idea to check the compression, look into the cylinders and measure the leaks. But if you are buying a non-collector's item, you simply will not be allowed to do this. It is foolish to expect an ideal condition from a car that costs less than 100,000. If you are not looking for adventure, don't look for turbo cars, not the fact that they were served better than atmospheric ones. Take engine options without phase regulators or better generally tan well. And it's very desirable to have a friend with you who knows thoroughly where what should be under the hood of a particular version. And do not forget about the engine number. Volvo made many similar engines, which are essentially interchangeable, but the traffic police may not appreciate the quality of this web. Little can be said about diesels. They are quite rare and borrowed from old commercial Volkswagens. Their reliability is not bad, but the problems are the same as the petrol modulars, age and poor maintenance. On this, information about the problems on Volvo 850 is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.